breaking the wall of viral zoonoses in animal farming. Michael Stark, Falling Walls Lab, Cape Town. 2020 will be remembered as the year COVID-19 changed all of our lives. And of November 2021 has killed over 5 million people. But what if I told you that the next pandemic will likely be 10 to 60 times worse? Multiple epidemiologists have stated that the origins of the next pandemic will come from an intensive animal farm. 90% of all farm animals in the world live in these confined, overly crowded and unsanitary spaces, offering the ideal conditions for viruses to spread and mutate to a point where we can spill over from an animal to human. In short, this is known as viral zoonosis. The current method to try and prevent an event of such is mass vaccination using vaccines that are constantly updated in order to combat rapidly mutating viruses. However, this is often neglected by farmers in developing countries as conventional vaccines are expensive, require refrigeration, and require an injectable administration method. I mean, imagine needing to vaccinate 1,000 chickens using a single needle. You would end up running around like a headless chicken, would you not? So what if we could predict the mutations the virus will acquire and mass produce a vaccine that can be easily, safely, and inexpensively administered to a high density of animals before a spillover event can occur? Well, let me introduce you to Immunofeed, a synthetic biology company in the process of doing just that by leveraging the powers of artificial intelligence and molecular farming to produce an edible vaccine that can be simply fed to animals. So how do we plan to do this? Well, first we'll obtain and genetically analyze samples from a farm, then use artificial intelligence based on natural language processing to predict the mutations the virus will acquire in its surface proteins that will allow the virus to evade the animal's immune system and continue to spread and mutate. We then identify the DNA sequence that codes for the surface protein, synthesize it, clone it into a plasmid, and transfer the DNA into a plant known as duckweed, using a bacteria called Agrobacterium tumefaciens. Duckweed is one of the fastest growing plants in the world and is able to double its mass every two days and is shown to be a sustainable and high protein animal feed. The duckweed will be grown in a sterile, indoor, automated vertical farm in order to optimize our production. After the growing process, the duckweed will be harvested, freeze dried, tested, packaged, and distributed to the farmer. This cheap and efficient vaccine production method allows us to personalize our vaccine to each individual farm we test. We also plan to expand our edible vaccine technology to ready commercially available vaccines and to the aquaculture, pear care, and the human medical industry. Just remember that all it takes is one mutation to completely devastate our lives. Help me take immunofeed to the world so that we can break the wall of viral zoonosis and animal farming and protect not only ourselves, but our future generations. Thank you.